Hey, what is up, guys? This is Rafael here, back with a brand new video. This time, playing some FIFA 17. As you guys are seeing, I'm playing Real Madrid versus fucking Barcelona. Okay? So, you guys see, if you guys know, Real Madrid played Barcelona. I don't know when this video is going up, but I played a couple days ago. I know it's going to go days later when I upload this. But, I'm just going to give you my, my review, my point of view, my opinions on El Clasico. First, I'm going to explain what's El Clasico to many people. Because I know many people, my channel, don't know shit about soccer. Maybe it's not all, not all. Some. For the, for some people, I'm going to explain to you. El Clasico is a soccer game between Real Madrid and Barcelona. It's a rivalry game. Because nobody, because some people say Barcelona is better than Real Madrid. Some people say Real Madrid is better than Barcelona. So it's like a battle. This is one of the most important important games of La Liga. This is soccer, by the way. This is La Liga of the soccer of Spain. These, these teams are from Spain, okay? So they have many good players, many good coaches, and a bunch of other shit, okay? But here, we're talking about the game, okay? First off, I'm going to start by saying Real Madrid, why the game... First of all, I'm going to start by saying why this game is so important right now. Because Real Madrid has some other good players injured. Not all the good players, but they have they have them injured. I'm sorry if you hear some noise in the background. That's not my fault. I'm really close to the window. I'm sorry about that, guys. But Real Madrid has some injured players so that's why this game and Barcelona has some good players injured too but they're doing like not good in La Liga they've been like tying and losing games like this is really where about this is not like Barcelona used to they've been winning the last couple of years so it's kind of weird and we're doing well you know we're doing battles always Real Madrid but we didn't give up okay guys we're still here so now let's start off with the first half of the game of El Clasico first half Real Madrid was attacking a lot as you guys are seeing they were like attack attacking a lot against Barcelona they're winning a lot of passes a lot of good plays with with all the players and Barcelona wasn't like doing anything they like they were kind of like asleep Barcelona was asleep you know and, and yeah we had a lot we created a lot of good chances with the players we have we create a lot of opportunities but but yeah so let me let me start off with Barcelona now okay Barcelona at first half, I already said what happened in the first half. They were asleep. They weren't playing that good. But second half, like, they started attacking in the second half. We started falling asleep like Barcelona the first time. And they were attacking constantly, attacking and attacking. As you guys are seeing right now in the gameplay, they were, like, attacking and attacking. I was like, fuck, man, these guys are going to score and some shit. So I was, like, really nervous. This game was starting to get good because Ramadji was attacking too, but not that much. But they were attacking. And so now, so there was a corner kick, right? We, the game ended up 1-1 one, one, okay so there was a corner kick okay so it's a corner kick you know the one the ball Luis Suarez he's one of like Barcelona's top players right now he scored the goal for Barcelona and it, some people say it was offside some people some people say no but honestly looking at, at it you guys can go search it up the video and you guys can see he was a little bit just a little bit offside a little bit on the corner kick so yeah it's like eh, whatever right the goal's already there. We can't do nothing. So now we're like getting, we're, we're getting really nervous because now Barcelona starting attacking less and defending more their goalie, their goal area. So it was kind of hard for us to score like a goal or anything, and to get close to the goalie box. So luckily, last minute, our player Sergio Ramos, our defender, one of our best defenders we have, my captain, proud to say he's my captain of my team. But he he scored a goal. He managed to score a goal for us. You know, last minute, like always, he's known for that. That Sergio Ramos is known for scoring goals at last minute. So that's why he's really important to the team. So basically, he it was like a free kick, okay? And Luka Modric, the one who kicked the free kick, Sergio Ramos told him, "Hey, just put it right there, close to the goalie, right there. I want it right there." And Luka Modric said, "Like, okay, if you want it there, yeah, whatever." And he put it right there, Luka Modric, and Sergio Ramos came, just like scored. He scored last minute, okay, guys. So it's like he's really important in our team. That's why I love him. So, now, let's review the, the players, okay? Let's start off with Barcelona. Since we have we didn't have our, our, man, our third player, Bale, he's one of the part of the BBC. So, he was he was out of injured, you know? So, we didn't have our full squad. If we had him, we probably could have won or at least scored more goals or whatever, right? But, we didn't have him, unluckily. And, and Barcelona did have their full MSN, Messi, Suarez, and Neymar. They did have him, all of them. And we didn't. So now, let's review them, okay? Basically, let's start, let's start off with Real Madrid. Let's start with Real, okay. Let's start with Barcelona better. Give Barcelona players. So you go with 
Let's start off with Suarez. Suarez, he played good. He was attacking a lot. You know, he created a lot of chances. He was a lot of, a lot of plays involved. So yeah, I gave him like a nine-ish. You know, eight right there, between right there, 0.5. Yeah, I'll give him a nine. I'll give him a nine. So now let's go with Messi. Messi, he was then and now right there in the plays with with Luis Suarez and Neymar. You know, he, I gave him a seven. In the game, I gave him a seven. Give him a seven, okay? My opinions, guys. This is my opinion of the game. I gave him a seven because he he wasn't there that much, you know, in the game. He did some things right in that now and then, but not that much. Now let's go with Neymar. Neymar, I gave him like a eight point five because, yeah, he gave some clever passes to to what's it called um Luis Suarez and he missed a couple, so I gave him an eight point five. He created a lot. He was he was doing good as well. So now let's go with Real Madrid. Okay, let's start off with Benzema. Benzema, yeah, he was playing all right, you know. I'm just gonna read with Benzema and Ronaldo since those are the two of the BBC left right now where they were playing inside of the game El Clasico. So basically, Benzema, he was playing all right, you know, he was creating chances and everything, and he was involved, but he was too lazy. So I give him, I'll give him a, a nine, nine. So now let's go with Ronaldo. Ronaldo, he was now there and throwing shots. He missed like, like a couple, you know, he did some good uh, good, good tricks and everything, good plays, good everything, good passes and everything. So I'll give him, um, I, I think I'll give him a 9 too, 9. Yeah, yeah I'll give him a 9. So now I'm going to go with, with Sergio Ramos. Uh, that's the player I'm going to give a 10 because, you know, last minute man, surprised everybody in the game. So, so yeah, you know, kind of surprising, kind of like shocking, you know, to see that. To see how like how we score that goal unbelievable nobody believed it but you know so last minute I don't know if you guys know this but our defender Daniel Car Carvajal he's our right back when Sir Ramos scored the goal like he went up to the Barcelona fans and like flicked the finger off you know so to me that was kind of messed up like 50 50 was like to me kind of messed up and like whatever right it's like that's normal, like, it's not normal, you know, people, kids are watching and everything, that's kind of messed up, you know, he should get in trouble, whatever, right? But, you know, there were some, some of our players that did, that did mess up things to us, too, you know, they robbed us a couple times, but it's like, whatever, right? So that's my review of El Clasico, now let me review the whole El Clasico. You know, this game, I think I'll give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, everything that I say right here is 8 out of 10, okay? The players reviewing everything, that's 8 out of 10. I give the El Clasico 8 out of 10. It was an alright game, not that hyped and everything, but alright game, alright. It's, it's cool, it's cool. So now, let's, I'm done with the El Clasico, I'm going to talk now about the channel. So I don't know I've been uploading or anything, like uploading lately, because right now, you know guys, I've, I said before, I'm going to Mexico for a vacation trip, you know, for a party, quinceañera, that I'm having. I am one of the chambelanes, like one of the main guys, not the main guys, but like one part of the guys. So yeah, so right now I'm in school, you know, it's finals, you know, I have finals, I have to study, I have to work, you know, it's kind of hard keeping up, you know, but I'm trying hard, okay guys. So I'm going to be releasing a vlog, so stay tuned for that, let's get to 100 subscribers, we're so close, let's get to that guys, we're so fucking close, come on guys, we can do this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and talk together, peace the fuck out, Destiny Informers out, peace!